Hello everybody, it's me, Sam here for Gaming, and today I'm going to show you how to use and install Web Auction Lite. So Web Auction Lite uh, allows your players to buy and sell items uh, using a web server or your web server, uh, so players can easily trade items with each other using um, any economy system. Uh, this will require Vault and an economy system, so I'm using an economy and I've got Vault installed and I'm going to go over how to use and install it. So first thing we want to do is download and then we'll pop that in the plugins directory and then we we'll want to start our server up. Now you can use SQLite or MySQL uh, it's up to you what you use, I'm going to be using MySQL. Um, for MySQL you can get a free MySQL service, you just google it through MySQL and it should be right. Um, and then SQLite is already there, you don't have to bother with anything else. So we're going to use MySQL. So, what we do, we go to plugins, web auction light, go to config.yml. All right. By default, it's SQLite, but we're going to change that to MySQL. And then we're going to put in all our uh, details for MySQL. Uh, the database name, let's create Minecraft. So there we are, I created the database, so that should all work. Uh, MISC, report sales, so you can either have that sort of true or false, but not you want to report sales. Uh, show sales and join, so if you want to notify the user whether they've sold some items or not, you can set that to true or false. Uh, the web service port, so that's the port you want to use, because what you'll be able to do, it will host the web server on where you're hosting your Minecraft, so you don't need an external web server or anything. And you just use this port here, uh, similar to dynamic map, uh, to access it. Uh, the sign delay is the delay, so that's about, uh, I don't know what that is actually, but that's the delay of the sign when you're right clicking and left clicking, I'll show you that in a second. And then the updates to say our alert frequency, so how often it updates the users. So we've gone over the config first, uh, just because it's easy to go over the config first. Right, so I'm going to reload. Uh, and there we go, it says all that, and hopefully um, if we refresh this there we go, oh, Minecraft, there we go, it has updated with all the uh, web auction light stuff, so we've got all the auctions, all the microprices players and stuff so that's all fine, but if you don't want to use MySQL you can use um, SQLite so, if we remember from before, our port was 25900. So what we can do is just simply go on to uh, where you're hosted, so it can either be your uh, IP address or if you've got a uh, domain, use that, and then have the port 25900. Now this is where your users can go in to log in. So the username will be their Minecraft in-game name, username, and the password they'll have to specify in-game. So let's go in-game, I'll show you how to do the stuff in-game and then we'll come back to this at the end. So see you in a bit. Alright, so now join me in game and we'll be going over all the in-game commands uh, required for this plugin. Okay, so the main command is slash wa. Um, it doesn't actually tell you any help commands or anything. So I'm going to just go over them. So the first thing we want to do is obviously set our password. To do this we do wa password and then the password. So for instance I'll just have one, two, three for simplicity purposes. And then when we go back onto the website, we'll just simply be able to type in Sam here and then one, two, three, and we can log in. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna create some sites. So if I just change my game mode, I'll always do this, and we'll create two signs. Right, so we'll just put them as this tree. So the first sign will be a deposit box. This is where we can deposit our items to the, uh, the website so we can then sell them on the auction. So to do this, on the first line we put web auction in square brackets. On the second line we'll put mailbox. And then the third line we'll put deposit. And this will create a deposit mailbox. So it should light up and it should also notify you that it's been created. Um, let's also create the other two signs. 
So the other one is the uh, withdraw one, and this is where we'll get our items back out from the mailbox. So we just type in withdraw instead of deposit, and again that should work. And finally, this is uh, available in the later versions, a V box. So this basically works as a, also a virtual box, and you can place items and take items from it. Uh, just like you would, as if it's just easier because it opens the inventory screen. But let's just show you how to do this. So let's get some let's get some diamonds and get some gold ingots and get some good apples as well. So if I want to deposit some items onto the website to sell them, so say I want to sell these diamonds, all I do is go up to this web option, I press right click, and then it will store the uh, diamonds on the web server. So I'll be able to show that in a second. When I want to withdraw them, I simply right-click the withdraw. At the moment, I have no nothing to withdraw, so it can't withdraw anything. And finally, we have the V box. So if I right-click that, I can see all the items which are on my uh, on my so uh, my to sell basically. So there's the diamonds I put in earlier. I can also put in all the gold ingots and the gold apples as well. And so this is this is one of the uh, uh, newer features. And it's quite handy because you can easily just take out and put in what you want at will. Uh, and also access that as well. You do WA mailbox, and that will also bring up uh, the same as right clicking on this sign does. So, what I can do, I can go around on my business, mine some stuff, so I get some uh, I don't know, cobble, and I want to sell it. And I simply just go on to the deposit box, right click it, and will get stored and then I can sell that to other users, users can log in and uh, buy the items and I can also buy items off other users as well and then when I do that I can put it in my mailbox which I'll show you, right click that and I can withdraw it. Okay so that's all the in-game stuff, I'm just going to finally sum up the video by going on the, uh, the site and just show you how to buy and sell stuff on that, so see you there. Right, so now I'm going to log into the web auction website. So again, your server IP and then the port which you specified by default 25900. So we're going to type in the password we specified and hit enter. And there we go, we can see uh, my face here, my name, uh, how much money I have, and the mail. So here I can list uh, player names and some uh, item IDs. I can search for auctions. At the moment, there is no options at the moment, so uh, let's uh, take a look at my items and see what we can do. So here are all the items I put in, so the diamond, the gold ingot, the golden apple and the cobblestone. Remember in game we placed all these, and now I can sell these on the auction uh, to other players. So I want to sell all my diamonds, so I put in the quantity 64, because I want to sell all of them, and the price per diamond I want, so let's say 100. And then I hit create auction. And I can do that with any item I like, with any price I like as well. So, selling is quite cheap. Alright, so now when we go back to home and we we'll just hit submit here, we can see all the um, auctions that are going. So here we are, we have the seller, Snap here. Who's saying that's diamonds? I'm not sure why it's not come up. Maybe it's oh, it's still loading a bit. We just refresh that. Or probably, all right, it's not sorting itself out, but I mean, there's still a few bugs. Uh, it tells you when it expires, it tells you how much, it tells you the price, uh, how much it will cost to buy all of them, and then the percentage of market price and stuff if you've got that. And then players can go on here and they can obviously type in how much they want to buy. So, I say I want to buy one diamond, I hit buy, and obviously, I don't have enough money. So let's have that. It won't let us buy it anyway because we can't buy our own items. But obviously, uh, say someone else came on here and they could see the item and buy it there. So that's how that works. You can also go to my auctions and it'll tell you all the auctions you have. So diamond, gold, and get them or not. And if I want to cancel it, I just hit cancel here and it'll cancel it. And then it'll be back into my items. Then say I want to get this diamond back out. I don't want to sell it anymore. All I have to do is hit mail it, and then I'll go back, and then I'll withdraw it from the withdrawn site. Um, I can also obviously search for things as well. So if I type in the player name, for instance, Sam here, 
it will only sell uh, or only show all the things that I am selling. And obviously, I can type in uh, item specifically. So, cobblestone, I'm not sure why that's not working. Oh, it has to be the ID. So, let's try Thor, isn't it? Yep. Oh, see, I know my IDs. So, if you put in the ID of the item, uh, it will show all the items. So, you see everyone that's selling cobblestone, and you can just hit this and find the cheapest cobblestone going. And that might be handy as well when you're obviously selling it as well. You can always check to see what is the lowest price to try and beat your competitors. So there we go. And obviously you log out when you're done. And that's that. It's quite a uh, nifty plugin. I mean, it allows you to sell uh, things much easier. You can easily view it all. Uh, it's a different uh, way of doing it, I guess, than rather than having multiple sides and set chests. Kind of makes it a bit easier. But uh, I mean, it's up to you. You can look at it. And uh, thanks for watching. So yeah, this has been this tutorial. Cheers. See ya.